What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my Browns Saints Week 16 preview as Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns wrap up the home portion of their 2022 schedule this Saturday when they welcome Andy Dalton and the 5-9 and nine New Orleans Saints to the Dog Pound. And right off the bat, you asked me for my thoughts on this game, and the Browns should be able to go out there and take care of business because you look at what the Falcons did to the Saints, especially on the ground. Tyler Algier, who, if you remember, carved us up, well, he went out there and had 139 yards on 17 carries and a touchdown against the New Orleans Saints rushing defense. Now they get to face Nick Chubb. So, yeah, this should be a, a good matchup for us. I really think Nick Chubb could have a huge game for the Cleveland Browns this Saturday. I think he needs it. Now, one big factor for our rushing attack is the fact that our offensive line has primarily been banged up. Of course, Ethan Posick uh, got hurt a few weeks ago. He's been on IR. But guess what, everybody? Got some good injury news to report. As you can see from the Browns Twitter account, and I quote, we have designated center Ethan Posick to return from IR. This is some amazing news to see. You love to see it. And then to make things even better, this comes from Hayden Grove on Twitter as well. And he quote, Kevin Stefanski said there's a chance for Ethan Posick to play this week. Awesome. It seems as though since Posick got hurt, our run game has suffered. Because, of course, we haven't had Nick Harris all year. Posick stepped up and he really showed that he deserves to be our long-term center. Our run game has suffered without him out there at center. I mean, heck, was it the first game we had Froholt out there? Freaking snap, miscues and everything. It's like, what is this? This is ridiculous. Freaking scrub. Well, now Posick should be back. If not this week, then definitely next week. So I expect the run game to improve tenfold with Posick out there again. Because the run game was really getting after it with Posick at center compared to Froholt. It would be nice to see Posick back out there, though. Because honestly, when he first got hurt, I thought, oh, no, his season's over. But no. He'll be back. So, awesome news. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any propaganda to spread. So, in its place, I'm going to talk about the history between the Browns and the Saints. Might do this uh, every week, regardless of if I have propaganda or not. So, you can see the serious history between these two teams. The Browns have pretty much dominated... Uh, the series between these two teams as the Browns lead the all-time series 13-5. In fact, uh, since the Browns came back, we are 3-2 and two against the Saints. I'm sorry, no, 4-2. Four 4-2. And two, four and two. Yeah, we're 4-2 and two against the Saints since we came back as a franchise. New Orleans, of course, won our last meeting in 2018 when Zane Gonzalez turned into a scrub. And the Browns won in 2014 when the Saints last came to Cleveland. Of course, that was that crazy game when Mike Pettin was our head coach, and I believe we won by two points. So, yeah, it's nice. Now we're going to jump right into the three keys to victory for the Cleveland Browns this Saturday, which, of course, is Christmas Eve. So this would be a wonderful early Christmas present for all us Browns fans if the Browns could go out there and get a dub on Saturday. But a key number one, this is a huge one for us. Get the offense going early. As you've noticed, Deshaun Watson's getting better. But the offense has scored, what, two touchdowns in the last three games since Deshaun has come back. Yeah, we, we got to get better with that. I mean, they're not having a problem moving the ball. It's just scoring. Now, luckily, the defense has been able to, you know, make up for that for the most part, besides that bungle game. But, yeah. In the other games, I mean, against Houston and against Baltimore, the defense has showed out. I've been really impressed with how they've looked. Now, once the offense gets going, it's going to be fun to watch. Key number two, limit Kamara's effectiveness. Now, against the Falcons, 
Kamara had 21 carries, 91 yards. So the Falcons were able to keep him under 100 yards. And uh, it's going to be a task for our defensive front. Because, as you know, we've had some uh, bad games against rushing attacks. Especially mediocre ones. Now, Kamara is not mediocre, but as a whole, the Saints rushing attack just isn't really what it used to be. It just seems like they haven't been able to really get it going. Which, uh, knowing our luck, they're probably going to have over 200 yards rushing because that's usually how it goes, right? I mean, look what Eckler did to us earlier this year. It's just crazy. But, uh, yeah, we can really limit Kamara's effectiveness mainly by doing what we did against the Titans a couple years ago. And that is getting out to a big lead and forcing Dalton and the Saints to throw the ball all over the place. Because that's when Miles Garrett can pin his ears back and get after Dalton. And that's where we can force turnovers. And speaking of turnovers, that leads me into my third key to victory. And that is force turnovers and take advantage. Like last week, Denzel Ward had that interception. I believe we turned that interception into points. That's a key. Turn any turnovers that we force into points. That'd be huge for us. Now, my player to watch for this week, to nobody's surprise, is Miles Garrett. I think he could have another monster game this week going up against a guy that he knows very well in Andy Dalton. And as for my prediction, I have the Browns winning 27-17. I think Deshaun Watson will throw not one, but two touchdowns. Not going to say to who. I'm... I guess if I had to give a prediction, I'll say he'll throw touchdowns to David Njoku and Amari Cooper. So there you go. That's it for my preview. Decided to keep it uh, shorter than usual. You know, um, I really have no hate for the Saints. I have a lot of respect for their fans. You know, pretty cool fan base, if you ask me. You know, uh, of course, Saints Uptown, the OG. I know he really wants Dennis Allen fired, and I'm sure he's hoping that uh, we absolutely kick the crap out of the Saints so they can maybe think about firing Dennis Allen. I still don't know why they thought it was a good idea to hire Dennis Allen, considering he was a bum in Oakland. But that's just the way, I guess, things go. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, let me know what you think. Should be a good game on Saturday. I heard it's probably going to be a cold one, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, the Saints do in the cold. Of course, they're 1-5 on the road, so overall, they're not very good on the road. We'll see how they do in the freezing temperatures of Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm sure Lake Erie is going to cook up something good for them. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if it snowed at some point in that game. That's the thing about Ohio weather, though. You could prepare for a nice sunny day and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a freaking snow squall hits. That's just a crazy thing about Ohio weather, you know. But um, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments, who you got winning and by how much and all that other great stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Cavs and Bucks. So until then, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns. And I'm out.